Presentation of this program is made possible in part by a grant from General Foods Corporation and by public television stations and a grant from the Ford Foundation. made possible by grants from McDonald's Corporation and McDonald's Restaurants Fund and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. C1? Yeah. C6? Yeah. As a matter of fact, did you know that milk is heavier than cream? Holy cow! <laughs> Suzanne Buzzard of San Diego, California. Which will burn longer? The candles on the birthday cake of a boy or the candles on the birthday cake of a girl? Burn longer? Yeah. Both? The, bo the girls. That's right, the girls. I knew you said that. What do you I should have said that the first time. Uh, I don't know. Get this. No candles burn longer. They all burn shorter. Uh... <laughs> Dear Zoom, can you say this tongue twister? Chippity choppity, mippity moppity, snippity snoppity, bippity boppity, yippity yoppity, flippity floppity, lippity loppity, dippity doppity, tippity toppity, prippity property, skippity scoppity. And that was sent in by Tark Farr of Oak Park, Illinois. Okay, Tark. Chippity choppity, mippity moppity, snippity snoppity, bippity boppity, yippity yoppity, flippity floppity, lippity loppity, dippity doppity, tippity toppity, prippity property, skippity scoppity. Here's sort of a tongue twister sent in by Betsy Torma of DeKalb, Illinois. And it says, Dear Zoom, I'd like you to try saying supercalifragilisticexpialidocious in oh. Ubby Dubby language. Oh, no. I've tried it and I can't do it. I'm not the best at talking Ubby Dubby, but I'm pretty good at it. Good luck. Good at saying, okay. Sabo, Sabo, Wait. Sabo, Fabo, Lubbers, Tabo, Gubbers, Bubba, Yabba, Labba, Dabo, Shabbos. Sabu cover Rabba Jerry Lewis to make an ex Bobby Abba Lobby Double Show. I can't. Do it, do it. Sabu cover Tippity-doppity, brippity brappity, skippity scoppity. Sabo cover, fabo lavish, tabo gavis, baby yabba lava dabo shabbos. Noel's taxi. Yes, this is Noku. Okay, I'll be a few minutes. Bye. Grandma stars. She's. I think she's in the square. 416 space to unit 2. Yes, Karen. This is Nukem on vinyl roll wants a cab to go up to Terrizona's. Okay, this will be my last run before lunch. I'm getting awfully hungry. Okay. I'm Karen Allen and I'm a taxi dispatcher. 
and I've been working for the family taxi company now for about three years. Gee, Josh has been busy this morning. Newell's Taxi has been around a long time. My great-grandmother Newell started it, and then when she died, my grandfather and great-uncle Goody kept the business running for about 20 years. The first taxis in the company were horse and buggies, and then they went on to Model A's and Model T's, and now they have the regular checker cabs. Now just my grandmother and great-aunt Doris are running it now by themselves. Doris really is the backbone of the taxi. She starts at about after six in the morning and doesn't stop until the taxi closes, which is about 11.30 at night. Clara Danucci, oh, well, she drives in the afternoon, one to six. So long, Karen. I'll be down to Millie's if you need me. After school, I work three nights a week and sometimes on Saturdays. It gets kind of hard at times when you get down, settle down, and do something because the phone rings a lot and it gets pretty annoying after a while. Newell's Taxi. 63 Harding Street, 416 Base to who's going up to the mail home. No, Doris. Joan, there's somebody. Other kids at school think it's a really big deal what I'm doing because some of the kids only have babysitting jobs or mowing the lawn or something like that, but I have a steady job. Joan, just um, get the one from the gay 90s and take him with you while you get Mrs. Brown. He won't mind the ride. Noel's taxi. Yes, Miss McHilmer. Okay, be a few minutes. 416 space to unit 4. Unit 4. Uh, I have to get Mrs. Claridge. Mr. Kilmer wants a cab to come up to the bank. After you get Mrs. Claridge, Mr. Kilmer wants a cab. Well, at times when drivers are working for the taxi on the radio, they'll hold the microphone too close to the mouth, and so it comes in all garbled. You don't understand what they're saying. Okay. But you get used to it. That's right. The busiest part of the day is around 4 to 6. That's the time we get a lot of calls and there's just not enough taxis to go around. Rules taxi. Yes, this is Mullen. Okay, and where are you? Okay, Doris knows where that is. Okay, bye-bye. 416 base to unit 2. Yes, Karen. Doris, can you pick up Mrs. Mullen? She has to be at the vets by 5 to pick up her poodle. Oh, I just started eating my lunch. I haven't had a thing to eat since 6.30 this morning. Uh, 416 space to unit 4. Yes, Karen. Yeah, uh, Clara, you want to pick up Mrs. Mullen? She has to be at the vets by 5 to pick up her poodle. I cannot do it. I have to pick up my... Rules taxi. Yes, Mrs. Wallen. Yes, I know you're in a hurry, but we're kind of tight now. Doris, you still there? Yes, Karen. Uh, hey, Doris, would you mind uh, get, picking up Mrs. I Wallen? I'm going She's to on the radio. I'll go get her. Okay, hey, thanks a lot, Doris. People think that taxi dispatching is really a big deal, but to me, it's just all a part of being in the family. Z7? Yeah. Z1? Yeah. As a matter of fact, did you know that there's a fish called a wells and it catches and eats birds? Holy birdsey, you bet. <laughs> sent him by Dory Halpin of New York, New York. And all you need is two cardboard boxes and a bunch of old clothes. It's a costume race. Come on, Donnie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hurry up, get them all! Put everything in. Come on, John. Put it on the 
Tracing art. And let's see what we have here. A what? Potato mash. Oh, that's right. Potato, potato mash. Can you tell me that one? Oh. Mm -hmm. Spatula. Cookie cutters. Spoon the holes in the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Scrap the Here, you take. Do you take one of these objects and then you take a crane or something. And. Trace around it. Then, after you traced around it, you can put something over it. Then, when you're all done, you color it in. Okay? Here, you want this? No. I want this. Anybody want this? Yep. Come on, then. That came up good. Why don't you try tracing things at home and send us your tracing art? the fastest on warm nights. That's corny. <laughs> Here's a letter from Judy Starr of Woodman, New York. Dear Zoom, hi. I wrote you several months ago and asked for the stained glass cookie recipes and wanted to thank you and tell you I made them with some kids. We had a fantastic time playing with the dough, cracking candies, and making people, planes, and little animals. Since you shared this interesting form of art with my friends and me, I thought you would be interested in a craft I make. It's taking apples and sculpting them into faces and letting the sun dry them out. Then we form bodies out of scraps of fabrics. All this makes an apple doll. 
Thank you, Judy. College and Annie's knows how to make apple dolls, too. I'll just let this apple head age and get some carrot. In about four days, it'll look like this. This head looks like a Chinese Mandarin to me, so I'll see what I can find in the way of a costume. Well, first I need some hair. There's an old raccoon collar, some mink powder. Oh, here's some monkey fur. Oh, now I have to get something for a main part of this costume. Now I'll find something for a sleeve. Oh, this will make me look nice. on how to make an apple head doll right soon. And please remember to send us an envelope with your name, address, and a stamp, and we'll send you a Zoom card. C5? Yeah. C2? Yeah. As a matter of fact, did you know that the longest day of the year is June 21st or 22nd? What's the shortest? December 21st or 22nd. Hmm. Anderson of Hubertus, Wisconsin, writes, Dear Zoo, the funniest thing I ever saw was in the fifth grade. A boy fell from his desk because he fell asleep. When he hit the floor, he woke up. He thought it was funny, too. What's the funniest thing that ever happened to you? Like if you have to ask a question or something, and, and you, you have to say it, and you say, to be serious. Okay, I'm serious. 
<laughs> I remember when I, I went to this talent show, right? And these three ladies went up and started singing a song. And one of the ladies was so funny, I couldn't help but laughing. I tried to control myself, but she's going, <laughs> So professional, she was having such a good time. What I going, Oh, I remember. We got, I got, I got a bicycle when I was, um, I just turned seven and a half, and I didn't put on the training wheels. I didn't know how to ride a bicycle yet. <laughs> so I got into the bicycle, and all of a sudden, there was this huge long hill that went way down. Mm -hmm. I was on my bicycle. All of a sudden, you see, my friends decided to play a little trick. I was testing it out, and they gave the bicycle a little shove, and I went, <laughs> down this hill. I was like this. <laughs> I couldn't pedal or anything, because the pedal was moving so fast, I was like this. I just kept on hanging like this when the bicycle stopped. When finally I banged into this little fence. Oh, have you the bike? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Well, me and my friend, um, she's always over my house every day. And like once, when she was over with my other friend, we, you know how you put all these crackers together and eat them? Yeah. She's the first one to, to whistle. Yeah. And we drank juice right after that. Oh, no. At the same time, to the same time. Yeah. We were laughing and all of it was coming out of oh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> it was coming out of this side and this side and this side. And my friend was laughing. It was all over the table, all over the floors. <laughs> one time, um, I had that same kind of contest that Lori did. And a friend of mine came over. And we were trying to eat all the crackers we could, you know, the, um, see who can say the first thing. I t to, tr to try to pronounce um, seven silver swans sw swam silently seaward. Oh, After we ate a bunch of crackers, and my throat got pretty dry, and so I took a drink <laughs> of water. And I still had all these crackers in my mouth with a drink of water. My mother yells, what? They're hard, my girl. <laughs> 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 What's the funniest thing that ever happened to you? Right? Don't see double O M box three five zero Boston Mass two one three four seven two zero.
there's a town in Texas called Donna. That the English name for truck is Lori. When people pray, they sometimes kneel. There's a kind of hay called Timothy. That the instrument that's picking up our voices is a mic. That there was a horrible hurricane called Edith. That there was a song written about a boy named Danny. As, As a matter of fact, did you know that, that we need a matter of facts? <laughs> Zoom is made possible by grants from McDonald's Corporation and McDonald's Restaurants Fund and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Presentation of this program was made possible in part by a grant from General Foods Corporation and by public television stations and a grant from the Ford Foundation. <laughs>